All right, welcome to Dean Bodie Show. Dan, 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 dan. Dean Bodie Show. How's everybody doing today? DeanBodie.com is the website. We have the link for the podcast and also the social link that takes you over to the YouTube channel. Wherever you get in podcasts, Apple, Spotify, we're on all the platforms. D E A N B O D I, Dean Bodie Space Show is the YouTube channel. All the episodes are on there. We got the teasers on there that has Bodie. And all the teasers, because without the Bodie, there's no Dean Bodie show. Good girl, Bodie. Good, good girl. Good girl, Bodie. She's the best girl in the world. Yeah. DeanBodie.com. 800-878-9698 is the Bodie fun line. Call it. Say something fun. Leave a little sing-along on there. Tell a cute little story. We'll put it on as a feature on the show. How much fun is that? Tell us where you're from. Leave your first name on there. I don't know. Where are you from? New Zealand? Oh, maybe you're from, uh, I don't know, Brazil? Or maybe, um, who knows, uh, Paraguay? We're touching base with everybody as Dean Bodie travels around the world through the internet, and we're making all the connections that we can. Anyway, welcome. Hope you're having a good day today. We're going to get into some stuff today, and we mentioned the... Uh, the unexpected appendix on the last episode. And a few months later, I ended up, wow, getting a bout of pneumonia. And by the way, at 56 years old right now, I'll be 57 in, I don't know, in a few months, things are going to happen. That was the first time I've ever had any kind of major surgery like that. And then it followed up with the pneumonia back to back. 2017 was a whopper. But you get through it. These things are going to happen. You're not going to get through this life unscathed. It's not going to happen. Even when you're taking care of yourself and all that stuff. Look, things your body goes through. Some of the parts get a little worn out. As when, when we were younger and the pipes were a lot cleaner and the parts were a lot newer. Hey, you keep moving forward. So... What happened was when the pneumonia came around, I was just like, I thought it kind of felt like a fractured rib. If you ever had a fractured rib before, I'm going to get into that today. It's happened a couple times. You know how painful that is. Anything that messes with your breathing is kind of a nightmare and it's a little scary. So this one kind of felt like a fractured rib as I was breathing in and out because I've had that before and I couldn't figure out really what was going on with me. Never had pneumonia before. I wasn't plugging that in. So as things got really uncomfortable and a little more painful, just like I did with the appendix, I went to the urgent care again. So they're checking me out, the this and that, got a little temperature. They're getting ready... Uh, to write me a couple of prescriptions to handle the problem. And then she comes walking in and says, oh, let me get some chest x-rays of you just to make sure. Okay. Then she comes back in. And just like the previous visit with the appendix, she looks at me and says, you need to go to the emergency room right now. Oh, like deja vu. Here we go again. Hey, Millie. It was like deja vu, living the nightmare all over again. So, got to get Bodhi situated in the pet paradise. I go to the hospital again. Now we're dealing with the pneumonia. And I was in there six days, just like I was for the appendix. It was like crazy. The same amount of days. Different problem, but like, wow. So I don't know what happened. It happened. I think the surgery that I got from the appendix definitely threw my immune system, kind of rocked it for a while, and I have a feeling that's what happened with the other. As my body wasn't quite as strong as it was, something came buzzing around me and said, hey, I'm going to give you one of these now. Oh, excellent. So, man, you get fluid in your lungs. You get these loculated areas and pockets of fluid, as they call it. So one, they said to me, you're going to need what's called a thoracentesis. 
oh, I can't wait to have this. What's that? Well, we're going to take a harpoon and we're going to shove it in your back and drain some fluid out of your lung. How's that sound? Yay! When can we do that? Sign me up! And that's exactly what they did. The doc came out. He specializes in these things and he bounces around the hospital doing these things and draining fluid out of people's lungs. Shows you the fluid. It looks like a draft beer came out of you. Okay? But it's kind of urine colored. Either way, you don't want it in there. That Once they do that, your body has an opportunity to finally heal itself even better. And uh, what a painful process that was. I got to admit, the pneumonia was a lot more uncomfortable than the appendix. Believe it or not, it was. Again, anything that affects your breathing is a nightmare. So, you got to... Uh, Make sure you're getting up and you're walking up and down the hospital, wheeling your little IV thing up and down with your beautiful looking gown, flying around, trying to keep things moving. And so you don't get too sedentary because sedentary is not good and you want to get the lungs working again and all this fun stuff. So back to back 2017, whammo. Hey, we got through it. Two life-threatening situations. Look, like the Steven Seagal movie, Hard to Kill, that's us. That's Bodie, me, Dean Bodie. Forget about it, okay? 10, 11, 12 lives, something like that. But we keep moving forward, and we're going to bring these shows at you daily because life doesn't come at you weekly and monthly. It comes at you daily. I don't care what you say anymore. This is my life. Go ahead with your own life. Leave me alone. Ba -ba 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 -da -ba -da. Little Billy Joel sing along my life. Oh, man, another hit. Just play the greatest hits. Make it a Billy Joel day. And that'll get you skipping around the house, too. Not like the KC and the Sunshine, Ben, will. But in a different way. <laughs> so... That's the pneumonia story, story, and that's the appendix we did the other day. So let's take a right turn over here and talk about the couple times that I fractured a rib. And if those of you that have ever had that happen, painful, again, effects with the breathing, not good. So I'm living in Lake Worth, Florida, and I'm hanging out at a bar called Cheerleaders. And this place was a little hole in the wall, draft beers, jukebox. There was everything there was inside there but a cheerleader <laughs> just a cast of characters like you've never seen and uh it was crazy so one too many i'm there on my mountain bike and i decide i'm going to get on my mountain bike after too many beers and fly home and i'm coming down the sidewalk and somebody says hey dean and I look, and I squeeze the front brake really hard. And you don't want to ever do that with the front brake because this happens, and you get shot over the handlebars. And that's exactly what happened to me. I went flying over the handlebars, soaring through the air like, like Superman, except for, unlike Superman, I smashed on the concrete. Oh, Fracture the rib to the point where when I was breathing, I heard click, 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 click. Not good. There's not much you can do about it. You can put the rib brace around it. But I just kind of, again, toughed it out. The body healed it. It took, a, I don't know, it was uncomfortable for a good month and a half. But it got strong again, and that was not fun. The fractured rib is painful, uncomfortable, and you just got to let your body heal it. That's the one rib episode. How was that? Cool, right? Another time I was snow skiing at Big Bear Mountain in California. And I'm on the bunny slope because I don't know what I'm doing. This is the Florida kid here. I don't know anything about skiing. I know two feet on one plank on a skateboard. That's what I know. Not where one foot can go one way and one foot can go the other way on the skis. Not good for me. So that being said... I'm coming off the airlift, and I, I should have known it was going to be a bad day when I got off the ski lift, and I kind of stumbled, and the ski lift almost hit me in the back of the head. I knew it was going to be a tough day right then. So we're going down the bunny slope, and I'm cruising, and all of a sudden, I'm starting to pick up speed, 
And I look at somebody next to me like, wow, look at me. I'm getting the hang of this like I'm some kind of big shot. And all of a sudden, I hit a tree stump that's sticking out of the snow that didn't look like much, but it was enough to launch me over the tree stump where I fell flat on my face, smacked my side and hit the rib, fractured the rib, and needless to say, my skiing career was finished at that point in time. We went up to the lodge. We started doing shots of 1,800 tequila so I could numb myself and forget about what just happened. Second time, both really painful. Anybody who's ever dealt with the ribs situation and the fractured ribs or anything like that or an appendix or a pneumonia, hey, these are not fun. But you can get through it. And once again... Thank you so much, emergency care in this country. Like I said, those of us that didn't have, we didn't have the emergency care like we did and they didn't get us out of our crisis, most of us would not be walking around the planet right now. So, and now once you get out of the crisis, now get yourself dialed back in with the good eating and the good nutrition and get yourself dialed back in again. That's how you do it. But things are going to happen. You just got to keep moving forward and, uh, let me tell you, man, that, I don't know which rib injury would hurt worse, the first or second one, both of them really uncomfortable, and, uh, and the pneumonia, six days in the hospital, the appendix, six days in the hospital, it was kind of crazy how it was both exactly the same time, the hardest thing I had to deal with was Dean being away from Bodie. Being away from Bodie for six days. Yeah, they call it the pet paradise. And thank God for places like that. But it's not so much of a paradise for Bodie. A bunch of other dogs barking and yelling and screaming. It's like being in, in doggy jail. You know? So let's talk about A-L-E-X-A. -E and maybe she can tell us a little fun joke of the day. Of my little sidekick who likes to help us out once in a while. Hey, Alexa, what's the joke of the day? How do you measure a burrito? In inch latus. Oh! <laughs> How do you measure a burrito? In inch, in inch latus. Oh, man. Very funny. So that's A L E. Sorry, I don't know that one. Hey, Alexa, stop. There we go. <laughs> A-L-E-X-A -E started go off on a little bit of a tangent. That was kind of cool. Hey, you never know what's going to happen here on Dean Bodie's show. Right? Hey, you having a problem with it? Get your own show. Right, Emerald? Why do we season both sides so both sides taste good? Oh, Bodie and I happen to share a little piece of carrot cake today in moderation because we like carrot cake in this house and Bodie likes it. And that's our little treat that we got to share today. And, um, you know, we do our thing. This is my best buddy. She's a good girl, Bodie. She's the best girl in the world. Yeah, she's the good girl, Bodie. She's the best girl in the world. Ho! Oh. DeanBody.com. Don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to hit the like button. Don't forget to ring the bell because you don't want to miss any of these shows because these are real shows. We're coming at you daily. Life comes at you daily. Don't get wrapped up in the COVID schmovid. The greatest. We're going to come out of this thing bigger, better, and stronger. Keep your immune system strong. Get some good nutrition going. Keep the food clean. Come on. Get out there and go for some walks. Get some sunshine where you get your vitamin D. Just do the basic stuff on a daily. That's all. You'll start to build momentum. You'll make your immune system stronger. This way, when the monsters come around, they don't bother you. Right? Hope you're having a great day today. Look, we're going to be going through these life stories and all that stuff. Call the hotline would be great. The Bodhi Fun Line. And... Close the shop, closed, sold the house, bought a ticket to the West Coast. Now he's doing a stand-up routine in L.A. Keep it to yourself, it's my life. I don't care what you say anymore, this is my life. Go ahead with your own life. Leave me alone. Wow. Billy Joel's got some songs that just give you a good sock right in the old, 
and the old kisser. Listen, have an awesome day. We're having a great time over here. And, you know, leave a five-star review, five-star rating, a nice review on the podcast. If you would, we're growing on a daily because of you. And, hey, let's make it a great day. Weekend is here, TGIF. We're doing our thing today. We know how to measure a burrito now in enchiladas, and we keep moving forward. Got it? Oh, yeah. Have an awesome day. Thanks for joining Dean Bodie team. We're having a great time. DeanBodie.com. Have an awesome day. We'll talk at you tomorrow. Bye now.